Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to a sponsored video for Age of Wonders Planetfall. I got contacted by Paradox Interactive saying, hey, Shack, would you like to take a look at, well, our new expansion pack for this, which is called Star Kings. Now, I hadn't played any of Planetfall. I've had played Age of Wonders before. I do remember playing, I think it was one of the original titles back in, like, the late 90s or the early 2000s, and it was, it was a mixed bag of game mechanics, and I am not sorry to say, this one is as well. The new expansion uh, is, <laughs> it's its funny because I've been playing D&D this week, my first game really going on, and I'm playing as a paladin, and there's a lot of paladins going on this week for me because that's what this is. The new faction is a faction of space paladins running around in mech suits. If you've never played any of the Age of Wonder games, it's a kind of a 4X over the top strategy title. This one, when you get into a fight, drills down into the individual units that you're commanding on a tactical board. So we're gonna look at that and we're gonna look at the new mechanic that comes with the update that's coming out alongside this expansion. And I think it's the coolest thing. I think this is what's gonna grab me and make me wanna play through a proper campaign because the Galactic Empire. So there is an actual campaign for Star Kings. Like you can go to new campaign, uh, you can choose the expansion that you wanna play through and play through their story, find a little bit more about their lore if you want to. The mechanic that gets me though is, and you can see this has been out for, this has been out for a hot minute. There's multiple expansions out for this and I'm really late to the game here trying this out. So I have all kinds of cool stuff to check out. Like who are the lizard people? Uh, but let's bounce back. Let's go to my Galactic Empire. I've already started one up uh, and this would be it. Armco, the Galactic Empire. And you notice there's only one planet on this map. But what's cool about this is instead of just having like one world, you play with your hero, he levels up, he gets some experience and then you're done, and then you start all over. On this, you actually get to keep your hero and units and play through multiple planets in a grander campaign with an, over, like an overarching story that you get to play through, basically, that you're creating yourself as you go after these worlds, and you can unlock stuff. Here's my Hall of Heroes. It's really pathetic because I've just started out with my group. I've actually custom made this dude with his long flowing cape, very paladin-like, and, uh, and I don't know, like hood hiding his face. I don't know, that's what paladins always look like in my head. The experience that you can pick up so you can unlock and get different benefits and bonuses that you can bring in. Also, because we're the freaking paladins, we're looking for, well, we're looking for the grail or various versions of the grail that we can unlock. So this is this, this ongoing sense of progression as you play through. This is actually a save game that I'm playing right now. So we can go conquer new world or I can go, let's see, I go into this. Conquer new world, we can go back into Thyona. Uh, which is where we're at now, or I can say, you know what? I would rather, um, I would rather go to a new world and I can start up a new game completely. Now let me go back. Let me go create new empire because this, this is what it looks like to make an empire. So let's say we were going to do the United, oh, got to capitalize it. The United Shack Empire of Justice. We can change the color of the empire. So if we want the logo to be black with maybe some orange on there, go a little bit with the Armco colors and then change the symbols. And there's a crap ton of symbols to choose from. Um, da, 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 da. There's nothing that really looks like the Armco symbol except for maybe like some of the triangles. I kind of dig the eagle. Uh, interesting. I think you put your empire description. Woot. Confirm. Now we've got our empire. Let's create our hero. We need to recruit a hero. And this is where it gets a bit nuts because you can go ham. You can recruit a hero or you can actually create one. Let me go back. Conquer new world. Let's choose the world we want to go to. Gives you a little bit of information on what you've got, uh, what you'll gain, the difficulty you're going to be going up against, uh, and the rewards that you'll pick up. So let's go with the ringed planet just because it's cool. Complexity is low. Select a commander. Now, once you've picked like your starting vibe, right? So this is your faction and the commander that you're going to have, the special abilities, gear and equipment they're going to get. Let's go with like, all right, all right, Vanguard in this instance. Let's go to customize. Actually, let's, um, let me use the paladin ones because honestly, we'll choose this dude and go to customize. Uh, you basically can customize just about everything about them, which is pretty cool. Uh, so you can choose their secret technology, um, which the one that got me was Promethean. The Prometheans are planetary exterminators, eradicating threats with their fires, whatever that is. 
um, and then the different factions. We're gonna go Oathbound. Oathbound is the new faction. These are the paladins, and their armor, I don't know if I said this, are full-on, like, mechs. Paladin mechs. They're very melee-focused, too, so I don't know. That might turn some people off. If you're not down for that, there is another faction that I have actually really been enjoying that I think is more my style, and that would be the Vanguard. Like, a bunch of mercs that were cryo-frozen and have woken up with their empire gone and they're just trying to survive. These dudes have, like, laser weapons, firearms, and tanks, and gunships and whatnot. That's kind of more my speed. Um, but the Oathbound, um, they're growing on me. They're growing on me. Some of the mechs are quite cool, and they're shielding technology, which makes sense for a paladin group. Uh, all right, so if we were to go into this, let's go ahead and continue. This is what I love. You can totally, I'm going to name this guy after my, my RPG character, John Roland the Paladin. Totally customize all of his bits. I, like, it's like a proper RPG, right? So we can go with, um, actually, isn't there one with like a mech in the background? Ew. One of the new backgrounds. There it is. Yeah, with the with the mech suit in the background. The paladin suit. The posture, how do they hold themselves? This guy's gonna be a deep thinker. Put him there. You can change his head. Let me change his actual um helmet. Accessories. What accessory? Oh, it's the cape. You could have a slightly invisible cape. No, if you're gonna have a cape, everyone must see its glory. Yeah, it kind of weirdly hangs off. Is it floating? Yeah, it's totally, like, floating there. What's accessories do? Nothing on this one. But yeah, there's total, like, full-on customization. Whoa, what? Some of the heads are quite cool. I wish I could color him. Yeah, I know, I can't actually... Unless it's... Oh, it's not based on... It's not based on that. So I think they have, like, a general color for their armor. Uh, you can't change the armor and the legs, though. You can't totally make them look different. So if you want a guy in, like more robes or want more of like a military commander looking deal oh i kind of dig that looks a little weird with the armor but if you put him in the normal pants it actually looks quite cool and change the cape around all right character customization is something i absolutely love and i could spend hours on this but i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that i think you can customize every one of your heroes like this too so we go ahead and hit done now we get to choose a few of um the unlocks as we get more of these points we'll get more stuff um you know just just go uh and give me the prospector no me the vanguard troops operations give me laser strike because artillery is fun and then mons i'm gonna take the flechette rounds because we're gonna go very very much a military focus and launch game and we'll jump right With into guidance it. from your seers you must remain confident that you will not falter in your mission battle suits piloted by the elite and just paladins under your command will inspire your people and strike fear in the minds of those that would threaten your kin as Oathbound, you have enjoyed a perfect society in isolation. But now, it is time to enlighten those who have fallen from grace in these savage times. Oh, we about to enlighten the smite out of people. It's gonna be great. Start game. You can see how the game actually looks when we get into the, the hex-based map that's randomly generated uh, with hostile creatures that you expect to see except for the combat's actually quite fun it's not just like right click watch an animation and then they're dead no you actually jump into it um let me load into another one that we've already got going on since this is actually like a brand new dude but it, you start off with your city i mean it's it's pretty familiar at this point right start off with your city choose your research choose what you want to train do i want to train uh my military tab do i want to train some more paladin a aspirants so um early paladins uh support units do i want to get a barracks do i want to go for like Eh, let's go for, like farming so we can grow a little bit faster get our population up so we can claim some more territory as i zoom out you can see the territory we control what we can see uh some of the factions or the neutral factions that are on the map we can take quests from and actually get levels as a hero uh can i put you guys in the same group or are you already uh, i think i've already have a full yeah i already have a full unit we can move out to about here so let's go ahead and do that i see there's a enemy over there on a node at the cyber frost fields which are i see the value of these fields Overgrown Biodome is right next to us. I've actually clicked the map itself. Um, actually, that's the that's the hex itself. Fields are right here, if I can click it properly. Uh, which we will be able to annex as soon as we have the uh, population. So that's why I'm thinking farms would be a good idea. But there's our battle mech and the army that we start with. These poor, these poor paladin, starter out paladins kind of, uh, they kind of die easily. 
Uh, let's pick up. We're already building the farm. Let's also train another paladin. Produce. Let's send our scout out a little bit. Kind of have a poke around. Uh, I might actually go up to the cold toe fields. This is the first time I think I've started in a, in a frozen, icy region. Neat. Uh, with the expansion and the new update, uh, with the expansion, they're actually adding new enemy AI, like, monsters on the planets, which is kind of cool. I haven't seen all of them, so I'm not sure which ones are the new ones. Um, but if you've been playing for a while, that's a new thing. Let's go ahead and end the turn. All right, Roland. Let's go start a fight. Bum, 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 bum. So now that we've decided to kick these guys off of our property, hippity-hoppity, off my property, we're going to go to man manual combat and see if we can win. And this is what I like. I like a little bit of combat I can sink my teeth into instead of just being auto-resolved or, you know, running running the numbers and playing an animation. Looking at you, other <clears throat> Paradox game. So this right here, <laughs> talking a little crap. Um, I'm kind of down for this. When I was playing the Merc group, I love that they get Overwatch and having transitioned to the Paladins now who only have, I think, one unit that gets Overwatch, if any. No, no, that's not how this works at all. They don't have anybody who gets Overwatch. They get um, Precognition. It, it was a bit jarring, but now that I know the strength of melee combat, where if you're in melee combat with somebody who tries to attack you, you get to attack back instantly during their turn. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I think what we're going to do is we're going to run up. There's a cover system. We're going to run up into cover here with our giant mech. Uh, we don't give a crap about cover when it comes to walking through it. We will just walk through and break a lot of the light stuff. Um, well, let me bring my shield up. Here's what I'm going to do. How much how much action does this take? Ugh. I'm going to move you up front. You've also got 45 health, which is substantially more than my normal troopers. No, it's not. It's the same. Really? Oh, oh, but he gets five armor points, which I'm guessing you guys only get. Yeah, you only get two, and he only gets... Oh, John gets six. All right. I guess I'm down with that. Uh, Let's get you up here. Kind of an artillery unit. The, uh, the purifier gets a flame attack, but it has a really long cooldown. Plasma weapon. I might be able to get two of them in it, though. How many... Um takes a single action to do it, huh? If I move you up in the back here, kind of crowding around, please don't hit me with anything too crazy, I can hit one of them. But it lights the ground on fire because they're purifiers, burn it with fire. Let's see, right click, fire some plasma. They might run through that to get to me. Now, I got all you around me. They're probably gonna be able to attack in the next round because they're press hoppers. I wouldn't be surprised if they can jump at us. Let's pop a shield. So we get protected shield on our, uh, uh, what is this guy called? He's called a Paladin Protector. And I can rotate the camera so he can see. He raises his shield up and he creates his energy shield. Makes it 25% harder, I believe, for any targets to hit us. Uh, let's see, the unit ends its turn and goes into offensive mode. It grants itself and adjacent allies to, so 25% chance, to, yeah, harder to hit and cannot be flanked. So no flanking. Um, the rest of you, I mean, I can move you in the shield or I could just kind of keep you back and then wait for them to come to us. Let's do that. Because they also have a ranged attack. Uh, I actually feel pretty good about putting you behind there. I don't think they're gonna be able to get to you. Uh, one of our abilities, when we, let me click him here. One of our abilities for Roland is a teleport. Uh, that has a chance to stagger. High impact staggers units, reducing action points. So they do come in, or if they don't, I will teleport into the group and it'll hit everybody around us. Uh, but for now, let's just kind of... I don't think anyone's in range. No, even my Void Pistol's out of range, so we'll just dig in. Go ahead and defense. Um, shields up. Shields up. I love that it says shields up, but I don't think they actually have shields. Yeah, they have like giant pole arms. And then you, you have a anti-air shock ability. They don't have any air units. So I'm just gonna stick you back here. Back here for now. I can use precognition on somebody, probably wait until next round to do it though. Uh, target friendly unit and they get one stack of precognition, negating the next direct attack that will hit it. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and give it to you and make you, cause I think this is gonna be over in one round. Let's go ahead and give that to you. So buffing our shield guy who's already got extra cover. Here they come. Oh, he jumped over us and he hit our... Ah, damn it. 
<laughs> and that's why melee is so cool, because you get to respond off turn enemy to enemy aggression. What? What was that? They turned from green to like charred. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna nail them. So just because we can, I'm gonna teleport. No, I didn't teleport. Because this is the wrong unit. Because it's this unit that gets teleport. Yeah, it gets the Volt Surge. All right, if it survives, go in there. Smack him. All right, now the hero gets it. Roland's going to pop this. Uh, it's a little overkill and unnecessary. It's not going to kill him, but it will pop right in. Oh. And give him a smack. Those giant bladed arms. You actually didn't kill him. You had one job. And you didn't do it. Your fire. The gigantic max. Whack. Even when he hits. Enemy killed. Throws fire everywhere. All right, let's move the normal infantry up. Move you up as well. We need to take down this kind of caster unit in the background. Does it give me stats if I click him? The shepherd. Army commander, tier three specialist. Okay. Whoa, what are you? Bio staff. I can actually see his abilities and his cooldowns. Oh, I didn't know that. I hadn't tried that until just now. Learned something new. All right, hit in to see who hasn't moved yet. We've got our little support guy. Um, I don't want to move him too close because he doesn't he doesn't have any armor. They die really easy. I lost him in my last, uh, my last campaign almost right away, not realizing they have zero armor and everything that looks at them sternly just kills them. Whoa, did he just summon and see what I said? He just, he just jumped at him. Rude. Return fire. Give him a little shot. That's the one issue I have with this is that like everything looks so cool, but then you hear the audio for it and it's kind of eh. Like it just doesn't have the impacts that you want. Like, like there's no impact the sound there. Foretold. All right, let's go smack him. Like the steps for the mech sound good. Whoops. Since I say that, I click off screen to mute my, mute my game. Like the steps for the mech sound pretty good, but you know, you want that like epic. The, the same thing with the rifles for that Merc group that I was talking about. They just don't have that bassy sound. All right, give him a smack. That actually sounds pretty good. What the wild penguins have showed up. Excuse me? Are they hostile? Can I has? They get beak pack, a repeating melee attack with a beak. High impact stagger units. Are you serious? <gasps> One of the things that you can unlock in the empire mode is a penguin. And I wonder if we have to kill the penguin to get it. Go get the penguin. There's a new goal in this game and let's go get penguins. It's a stuffed penguin. That's why I think we have to kill him. Oh man, you're out of range of everything. All right, move up. Let's see if we can... I'm worried that if I end this, if I like kill the bad guy, I won't get the penguins. <laughs> I don't know if it's a requirement to unlock the... <laughs> you got me, Gabe. You got me on wanting to unlock penguin shenanigans. All right, he's dead. Come on. Enemy annihilated. Enemy annihilated. We must defeat the penguin overlords. I don't know why we're fighting penguins. I mean, I guess it is the right biome for it. I have a feeling these penguins, I'm gonna try it, but I think these penguins could kill you guys. Come on, they get to, re they get to attack back, right? I really wanted to see the penguins attack. Thwack. Our forces are victorious. Wait, if the scale's right here, those penguins are like four stories tall because that's a mech that's like four stories tall. We have won the day. We have gained some experience. I love this. They have a watch replay button and you can see an almost like a pseudo real time uh, replay of the battle, which is kind of cool. You can zoom in, look around. So let's take the reward. We've got a bunch of food that'll help grow the cities a bit. Give us a little bit more. Um, uh, well, I don't know. What's our pop? Is our pop high enough to call dibs? On the cyber fields? On the on the cyber frost fields? No. We can't annex it yet until we have sector limited uh, reach. Memorial halls need one more colonist before you can claim that it's a memorial hall. Um, 
I can rename this too, I believe somewhere. Yeah, change name. I can totally rename it if I want to. So, all right. Neat. Let's bounce out of here. Let's take a look real quick at the beginning of the campaign. Uh, so we're gonna go to exit to menu. Uh, you know what? Let me save game. I actually kind of want to keep going with this. Birds of no flight. That's what I'm calling it. I want to find out what happens now if I win the day on the planet, on the ringed world with penguins on it. We'll go back. Let's go to the new campaign. I just want to see what the intro looks like for this. If you guys are interested, the game should be on sale. The expansion pack, excuse me. Uh, it should be a sale going on over on Steam when this video comes out. Uh, let me go ahead and start the mission. I pledge myself, from now and forever, to the protection and needs of the weak and the poor. As a paladin, I shall heed the wisdom of the seers, and beware the voices of greed and immodesty that will tempt me to put myself above others. I swear to use this battle suit to sow order where the star unions fall reaped chaos, and to capture peace where the cataclysm liberated war. From this Interesting. Day on, you should kind of run down to who the Oathbound are. Oathbound. After Reiki Arathon's heroic sacrifice on Atrium Alpha, the High Palladius and his cool. seers proper campaign with their background. I will get into this later. But yeah, it's got some voice acting too. I don't think they've got voice acting in the actual missions. I think it's mostly like the text pop-ups. But once you get in, uh, one of the new things for the, the whole Grail storyline is the idea that you can go find these... Um, powerful like landmark structures that you can put down um that'll give you some like long-term bonuses and benefits but you have to complete multi-stage quests to get them and i think they're not just like in the story campaign which i imagine is a bit more scripted uh let me go back but they're actually in the uh, the over game in that empire mode or just the general matches that you can play if you're just playing one world so but that's it that is star kings the expansion that's out i have a lot to sink my teeth in here. So I'm going to be playing some of this over on Twitch. Um, not for the sponsorship, just for fun. The sponsorship is just for this video. Uh, but I'm digging it. I'm digging it. It's a, it's a weird mix. It's a weird vibe on like game mechanics with that uh, kind of turn-based combat mode, figuring out what your units are, and then all of these factions. I want to dive into them a little bit more. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you guys know what to do. Thumbs up button, subscribe to you if you want to see more sci-fi gaming and modding goodness here on the XP Gamers. I will see you all in the next video. Later, everybody.